High Level just released call tracking widgets that you can add to your dashboard. And today we're gonna to show you how to build a perfect call metrics dashboard. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is go over to the left-hand side and hit dashboards. Then, because we are creating a brand new dashboard, we're gonna select the blue icon here and we're gonna hit add dashboard and we're gonna call it call metrics. Now I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna make it so everyone can see. So I'm gonna select everyone. If I wanted them to be able to view and edit it, I would put that on. But for instance, in this case, I want my team members to only view this dashboard. So I'm gonna come in and click confirm. And then I'm gonna slowly build this dashboard one by one so you can see all the different ones that are available. So I'm gonna to go to the edit dashboard. I'm gonna hit add widget. And then when I come in here, I'm gonna go into calls. Inside of calls, I'm gonna go over these one by one, but we are gonna pretty much use all of them so we can get the most accurate picture. Now, the first thing I wanna know is incoming calls by status, like how many calls are being answered, how many calls are being busy and so forth and so on. I wanna make sure I have that in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on it. And when I click on it, I have a choice of how it comes in. I can have it going into a donut, a chart, a bar and everything else. But in this aspect, it's call statuses. I wanna see a donut and I wanna make sure it's there. Now I can have it here where I add incoming calls. I can have the count and more importantly, I have the status of the way I want it arranged. Then I have a descending order. I can have it a limit of 10 and the date property of when it was created on and the dashboard range, which again is going to mimic from the month that we're in and 30 days back. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and it's going to immediately pop. I have answered and no answered, which is exactly the breakdown I want to have. And if I hover over it, I can see it here. So that is incoming calls by status. The next thing I want to do is again, I go into add widget, go into calls. I want to see the outbounds, like how many outbound is my team doing? So again, same thing, don't is going to be great. I'm going to do it by call status. I'm going to do advanced and I have ascending and descending and so forth. And here in conditions wise, I can make it where the direction is outgoing and I can add different condition of call attendee first time and so forth. All right. But in this case, we're not going to do any of that. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go back to calls. I'm going to go to outbound status. I have it as a donut. Everything else looks good. I'm going to hit save and boom. Now I have outbound calls by status. Continuing on, I want to hit add a widget. I'm going to go again to calls. And this time I want to know how long the incoming calls are taking. Again, if they're taking a very long time, then that's a good sign. That means that hopefully somebody answered, but at least there's a lot of calls coming in. So I'm going to hit incoming call direction, the sum of all the hours, which is great. But again, you could do a minimum max averaging count. But for instance, in this case, I want to know the sum of minutes because that's most important. And I'm going to do it as a number because I really don't need that as a graph, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. 18 minutes of incoming calls. All right, I'm actually gonna put that there because I want to kind of align to a certain way. I'm gonna add another widget and I'm gonna go to the next value, which is outgoing calls and calls duration, meaning how long are the calls lasting? Now here we want a big number because that means that my associates are on their call or my setters are on the call and they're taking a good average time in order to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Same thing, I want the sum, I'm gonna hit save. And now that is not a good sign, but again, this is the test account. We're good to go on that particular area, right? So next, I'm gonna to go to the add widget it, and we're going to just keep building, right? We have our incoming calls, average call duration, how long each call is coming in. So again, I'm going to hit save. This is now the average. I kind of want that right underneath there. So those numbers match. And then I'm going to come over here and do the next one, which is going to be outgoing call average duration. Again, you can always do advanced settings. There's minimum, maximum and count and all that. And there's the date range. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and bring that over again. Obviously, you know that this kind of makes sense. This is a test account, but here you go, it's here. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to calls. And the next one is gonna be the total calls placed by attendee. I almost wanna have this as a bar chart. We're gonna see how that looks. So we're gonna come over here, select as a bar chart and let's see. All right, perfect. We have the users and this is the way I kinda of wanna replace. So I wanna see how many calls each person is making. Again, in the test account, it's not gonna be accurate, but if you have seven people or 20 people, you're gonna be able to see who's making the most calls and so forth and so on. And right underneath that, if you come in here, you have outgoing call duration by attendee and that's gonna go in here. And you know what? Now I kinda wanna change this up a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can move this over here. Move the outgoing calls here. And let's go outgoing calls here. We're gonna move this. Now I have my incoming call, total calls by attendee and now outgoing call duration bar. So I'm gonna switch it over bar. I'm gonna hit save and now I have the outbound and the calls all kind of like matching up. I have my inbounds here, I have my outbounds here, and then I have my incoming and outgoing, which is the bigger ones here. I also wanna make sure I get counts for that and that's coming up soon. So I'm gonna come over here, I go to calls, and then here we go, first time call by status. I'm gonna go ahead and do that as a count. That should be good. Answered versus not answered, this is great. All right, and then I'm gonna do another widget. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to calls. And we are on first time average call duration. Keep all the first times kind of aligned. 
might actually go a little bit down for this. So let's see, let's put this here and I want to get first kind of auto deranged and I dragged it right over here. Now that I got my first time call average duration, the next thing I'm going to do is go to the last one, which I'm going to come over here and I have my average duration by attendee and the first time call duration. So I'm actually going to do the call duration first because I want the sum. I'm going to add that and it added all the way up here. We're going to actually drag it right down here. So we keep all the first time stuff associated. And then last but not least, I want to get the calls right here. Average duration call by person. And again, I want a bar chart for that. I can actually do a horizontal bar so you guys can see it differently. And I'm going to hit save and it could show by the individuals in here. Now, again, this is not registered because this is a test account, but you guys get the idea. If I want to change or I made a mistake or I want to drag it down, you can, but remember, it's kind of hard to drag down on the third column. You actually have to like rearrange it. So this will go all the way in the bottom first and then from there on, but we're going to try to shove it right down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually change up because that didn't work. Anytime you have to delete or edit, hit edit. And here you go. Now we're going to just do a bar chart. And now you have it by attendee. Again, when this person will be there, you'll be able to see by the person and by the attendee, the person answering the phone, who's going to have what. So really easy to create these dashboards. You can have a lot of fun with it. A lot of way to manipulate the data also. So go ahead and build out your call metrics dashboard today.